Imagine a world where every device around you, from your refrigerator to your car, can communicate with each other, making life more seamless and efficient. This is the promise of the Internet of Things, IoT, a term that has been shaping the future for decades, though its beginnings were humble. The concept of IoT dates back to the 1980s, but the foundational work started even earlier. In 1969, ARPANET was developed, connecting computers across different locations. This network laid the groundwork for more interconnected systems, but IoT's real spark came in 1982, when a Coca-Cola vending machine at Carnegie Mellon University became the first smart device able to report its inventory and whether the drinks were cold. It was a small but groundbreaking step in connecting physical objects to the digital world. In 1999, the term Internet of Things was coined by British tech pioneer Kevin Ashton. While working at Procter & Gamble, Ashton used the term during a presentation about RFID technology that is radio frequency identification, which could digitally track physical items. In addition, Neil Gershenfeld, a professor at MIT, wrote a book titled When Things Start to Think in 1999. In it, he explained the idea of the Internet of Things and outlined its potential applications all without using the phrase. This was the beginning of a new age of interconnected devices, fueled by advances in wireless technologies like Wi-Fi and cellular networks. The Internet of Things' primary goal is to enable new types of communication between people and things, as well as between things themselves, by integrating short-range mobile transceivers into a variety of devices and everyday necessities. During the early 2000s, technological advancements like the rise of the smartphone and improved broadband internet accelerated the adoption of IoT. In June that same year, LG announced the first smart refrigerator. These smart fridges were able to create grocery lists and link to smartphone apps, allowing users to control the temperature remotely, be alerted if the door was left open, and access online recipes based on their fridge contents. Later on, in 2007, the first iPhone was released, and in 2008, the number of connected devices exceeded the number of people on the planet. Major tech companies such as Google, which started testing driverless cars, and in 2011, Google's Nest Smart Thermostat hit the market, which allowed remote control of central heating. Likewise, IBM, Cisco, and Microsoft became key players, investing in IoT platforms. Over the next decade, public interest in IoT technology began to take off as more and more connected devices came to market. According to the World Economic Forum's State of the Connected World report, it is predicted that by 2025, 41.6 billion devices will be capturing data on how we live and work. Today, IoT is everywhere. From smart homes powered by assistants like Amazon Alexa and Google Home to wearables like the Apple Watch that monitor health in real time. IoT devices control supply chains, optimize manufacturing, and monitor equipment health. From Fitbit, which tracks your fitness, heart rate, and sleep patterns with seamless integration into mobile apps to Tesla's autopilot. An IoT-powered feature that uses cameras, radar, and sensors to assist in driving. Nonetheless, IoT isn't limited to consumer products. Its impact on industry so far has been transformative. In the healthcare sector, IoT devices monitor patient vitals in real time, providing data to doctors remotely. Robotic surgery and devices such as smart inhalers. Also, its the role in the COVID-19 pandemic has been invaluable with applications such as connected thermal cameras, contact tracing devices, and health monitoring wearables provided critical data that helped to fight the disease. So, also in the agricultural sector, smart sensors are used to track soil moisture and weather conditions, helping farmers optimize crop yields. Toyota, Susho, and Microsoft partnered in August 2018 to develop fish farming solutions using the Microsoft Azure application suite for IoT water management technologies. The water pump mechanisms, developed in part by Kindai University researchers, use artificial intelligence to count the number of fish on a conveyor belt assess the quantity of fish, and calculate the effectiveness of water flow based on the data provided by the fish. In urban planning, cities are becoming smart by using IoT systems for traffic control, waste management, and energy conservation. Similarly, in elderly care, it is used to help the elderly and disabled. 
These home systems employ assistive technology to fit the owner's individual impairments. For instance, voice control can help users with vision and movement issues, while alarm systems can be linked directly to cochlear implants worn by hearing-impaired individuals. They can also be equipped with extra safety features, such as sensors that monitor for medical situations like falls or seizures. Despite their benefits, IoT devices can be misused, and threats include security and privacy concerns, cybercrime, surveillance at work, home or in public places, and control over movement and expression. The forum's State of the Connected World study outlines a governance gap that must be bridged between possible hazards and society's efforts to mitigate them through legislation, industry standards, and self-governance strategies. As we look forward, IoT is expected to keep growing, with over 75 billion connected devices predicted by 2025. Key developments such as 5G and edge computing will make devices faster and more responsive. The future promises even smarter cities, autonomous vehicles, and an even greater convergence between the physical and digital worlds. From a vending machine at Carnegie Mellon to billions of devices across the world, the Internet of Things is shaping our future in ways we are only beginning to understand. Its impact on how we live, work, and interact will only grow as technology continues to evolve. Join us for another insightful episode on Thursday. Thank you for watching.